We are headed to the historic village of Pocatonic in yep. Connecticut, and we're investigating Captain Grant's Inn. Supposedly one of the most haunted inns in all of Connecticut. Sounds like a great case for us to dive yep. into. Let's do it. You know, it's been a bed and breakfast the whole time, and right off the bat, people started to experience activity. Shortly after I purchased it, one night I'm reading my Bible, and this male spirit crept up and totally possessed me. I couldn't move, I couldn't even blink my eyes. And I let out a horrible scream, and I felt him just go like that. And do you think this is a demonic entity, or do you think it's just a really negative spirit? I think it's the ghost of a person that was really bad. How many spirits have you cataloged in this property? This property has 300 spirits. 300? Mm -hmm. How did you come about that number? I asked them. And what happens in here? When women sleep in this bed, quite often somebody brushes their face. Huh. OK. This room, this is the Adelaide. I named it after Mercy Adelaide Grant, Captain Grant's wife. And this room is the most haunted. A woman and two children have been seen in this room. Mm -hmm. And she's holding their hands. Mm -hmm. oh, that wow. is reported by guests. The alarm goes off. It gets reset to the wrong time. TV goes off and on. A lot of electrical stuff in this room. And have you guys checked the electrical in here to make sure it's... Oh, yeah. It's totally modern. Mm. This is an active room. This is the room you'd want to stay in if you wanted to experience spooky stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. How would you go about communicating with whatever's in here? I think it's a she. A she? I would suggest, um, I don't know why I want to say this. Get on the floor. Sit down on the floor. Hmm. I don't know why I want to say that. Get on the floor and conversate with this ch This child? And so you're saying it's a child? Well, they said it was a child. Mm. I'm just the phone. Yeah. And I think you have the female here who's watching over those children. A woman and two children have been seen in this room. Mm -hmm. And she's holding their hands. Is the female related to the children? She's, t she's tied to them anyways, spiritually. That's correct. Oh, Grady. OK, so um, this space carries a lot of energy. Um, this is energy that could move something. I feel like I'm being touched in here. I feel like I'm having headaches. Is it human, non-human? I'm not sure yet. OK. Huh? What are you feeling in this room, Sarah? I feel like someone died, and then I feel like this woman got really sad. But is she an intelligent spirit, or is this more residual? No, she's intelligent, because her emotion is so raw. OK. OK, so Carol is in position. All right, good luck, Carol. And we'll see what we get. This is Adelaide's room. Carol believes this is a really active room. I want to talk to anybody who might hang out in this room. We brought Carol here. Can you use her to communicate with us? Tell her what you want us to know. You are here. You're here. She's saying you're here. Who are you? She's now saying, who are you? My name's Katrina. My friend Jack is downstairs. Touch me. She's saying, touch me. Where do I touch you? Where are you? Are you in front of me? Can you touch me? You left. She just said he left. I had to. I had to. 
I think she's channeling both entities. And they're almost like having a conversation through her. Is that what's happening? Are there two of you communicating through Carol right now? So are you Mercy? William Grant? Calm. She just said calm. It's so calm. Katrina is now moving down to the first floor, so that she's right above us. Carol cannot hear anything that Katrina's saying. She's got big noise canceling headphones on that you wear when you use like industrial equipment. Can you tell me how old you were when you died? Yes. She just said yes. Okay, how old were you? Later. She said later. Later. Were you once a living, breathing person on this earth? No. What the? No. Adam and I received an unsettling call from the owners of Greystone Manor, a bed and breakfast in Gasport, New York. There is somebody standing Where? to the left of this door. I can see you. It, just, it actually just waved at it me, did? its right arm. Yeah. You can also talk out loud, and even if we can't hear you directly, this device can hear you. So can you tell us what your name is as loud as you can? We're here for an urgent matter. Um, Heather and Bob have said that there's someone here that's causing people bodily injury. And we need to figure out who that is. Do you know who is hurting people here? Oh, God, it's freaking out. Do you it's know gone. who the angry person is here? They're the way they're freaking out right now while you're asking them questions. Yeah, it. Do you not want to talk to me because I'm a woman? Wasn't there something about that? Yeah, they don't like, they mess with women. No, they no, mess they with women mess with here. women, but like, can you stop moving like that? We're going to be here for multiple nights, so you should probably try to talk to us. Do we need to be worried? Are people safe here, or should they be scared? It's going. Cool. So my camera just, the whole thing just froze. Is there anything in it? Yeah, there's a, something that sort of like showed up next to this thing really quick. Oh, oh. And, then, oh and now it's And now gone. it's black. Let's, maybe Let's we should move in there. Let's go into that room. Because I feel like maybe, maybe it went into that space. It's not there now. We feel like we were talking to somebody in the green room, but that person left the green room. Did they come in here? Is Mr. Root in this room, Curtis Root? Did you know Flora Root? Now, what do you think of Heather? Do you like Bob? Did Bob do something outside to cause this violent activity they're talking about? What happened outside? Now, what do you think of Heather? Do you like Bob? I do. Do you like Bob? I do. I do. And that's really clear. Yeah, I do. I do. Male. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Outside. What happened outside? That just gave me goosebumps. Me too. What happened outside? That's like a, just like a. Not like that. Something outside. You know, I mean, full body actually, chills. that's a really big clue to get on the first night. Yeah. Huge. And what happened outside? Scream. <sighs> yeah. Huh. What the f happened outside, y'all? What's that land? I don't know. But that was like a visceral, like, ugh, outside. 
Heather suggested we talk to her niece, Maddie, who was investigating here a few months ago. The same time, activity picked up. So your experience was in this room? Yes. All right, and were you guys doing any, were you investigating at the time? Yeah, we had like a bunch of different spirit boxes and like EMFs and whatever set up. Mm. Okay, and were you sitting around this table? Or? Yeah, I was sitting right here, actually. Okay. okay. And when we were down here, um, we were just kind of like joking around, like we were kind of irritating the ghosts, I'm guessing, because we, like, we were being pretty nasty, trying to provoke them, and I got scratched on my arm. Three really deep, like, scratches. Okay. So did you feel it happening, or was it something you noticed later? I didn't feel it happening, but, like, I, my arm hurt a little bit, so when we went upstairs, I checked it, and I was like, we have scratches. What were you saying to provoke? I mean, because there's different levels of it, but what were you talking about? Um, mostly it was my brother and me. We were just like, oh, if you're so big and bad, why don't you do something to one of us? Like, why don't you show us right. you're here? Right, mm. right. So not, like, not calling them crazy names, just trying to- We were doing saying, a little bit of that okay, too. Okay, okay, okay. Just want to see what level it was. Okay. Okay. And so do you have the picture uh, of the scratches? Can I take a look at that? Yes. So it was right here on my arm. Oh, interesting. Okay. I see that, yeah. And how long did they last? Um, they lasted almost a week. It was right here. So have you felt as though things have changed here the last few months, that the activity's gotten different? Yeah, it seems like it's gotten like ramped up a lot. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's been a lot of construction back there and whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been a little more extreme since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Chip. We're going to go to a few spots. So Can you just tell us what you're thinking or getting from whatever you're seeing. OK. Here's the space, Chip. Did somebody die in this room? Yes. I'm hearing in my head, I died here and I never really left. Hmm. Okay. There's some older kind of grouchy guy. It's that whole, don't help me, leave me alone. Women don't like this room, do they? No. Yeah, we're gonna head to another spot, Chip. I don't know where you're headed or what you're doing, but I am like, whatever's coming up, I'm kind of getting covered in chills and feeling real protective of, of my space. All right. OK. <laughs> uh oh, no. <laughs> that place is up. I cannot tell you how messed up that basement is. And we are going to the Hotel Monte Vista. And it's actually really cool because it's considered one of the most terrifying places in all of America. A lot of very famous people stayed here. Bing Crosby, John Wayne. Most of the rooms are actually named after the famous people that stayed at the hotel. But even though all these famous people stayed there, there is no documentation in any of the newspapers about it. Wow, this looks like my type of place. <laughs> Why do I smell blood here, too? Blood? I smell old blood. I smell old blood here. <laughs> yeah, right here. Very strong. It's blood. There's no doubt about it. Are you able to pick up on how it happened or why there's blood there? What I feel is a, right here, something sharp. This is where the bank robber was rumored to have stopped. Supposedly, what happened was they were shot during the bank robbery, and then the guy bled out here. Feels intelligent. The person who ended up getting wounded is here intelligently. Yeah. Do they have bottles, glasses that come off that bar? Yes. That's him. The man who was That's bleeding. Him. He's telling me. He's telling me any time that someone comes in here that he doesn't like. He makes it known. Tell me what triggers it. What comes through is like you. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what comes through. He's really obstinate. He's very obstinate. He was a hard man when he was living. It feels as if he's afraid to go on. I'm not worthy. That's the way it comes through. I'm not worthy. Let's go see what else is going okay. on. All right. <laughs> is there underground tunnels down through the basement? Yes. 
okay i get that like bango and i feel that there's just something down there so let's get let's okay. get rolling on that you guys getting reports of movement in here yes because what i'm getting is this i'm getting at this coming at me i feel as if there's something going on that is so strong that it actually becomes visible do they see shadow people in down here yes people have definitely experienced the shadow man here feeling like a presence do you guys know where the tunnels opened up right behind you that's why they're showing me tunnels okay okay that makes sense you can actually go in there if that helps this hotel was here during prohibition correct yes This was used for a lot of different purposes. This feels almost like a raceway. What does that mean? An escape route almost. Raids or something. It feels as if they, they came through here. Let's go, they're here, go. That's what it keeps saying, go. The Monte Vista Cocktail Lounge was raided by the police during prohibition. This is residual. This is not intelligent in here now. Uh, I wanna get out of here because I just keep seeing the same scene played over and over and over and over again. This building, it feels like there's like three spots that are amping up whatever's going on in here. This would be one of them? This would be one of them. There's one in the bar, and I'm not sure where the other one would be. It comes together and it just feels like it goes up into the building itself. That's the way it feels. That's why this place is kind of active. Sound like someone dragging something from like at a distance, muffled. And we're the only people down here. The hotel is empty. Said it again. What's up, money? While you guys were in the tunnel, I heard what literally sounded like that. A drag? But from way back there, That's so it was awesome. very muffled and washed out. I gotta tell you, this, the basement feels like stronger than the rest of the rest of like the first really? floor. It feels like the energy is just coming out of the ground here. Mm. Interesting. Can you tell me what your name is? Is this your chair? Can you tell me whose blood this is? Blood? What happened to you to make you bleed? Did you get shot? I think that was the yeah. Who's the one that moves the chairs down here? Sounds like a foot shuffling on carpet. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. What the f was that? Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, cut it, cut it, cut it. Holy f it was, oh my God. What? It was like a, it was like a loud noise. You okay? I'm, I'm spooked. Holy let's go check it out. We were right here. I just started having a feeling. Yeah. In here, like super intense. And it was like, was that it? No, but it sounds like, it's like if you have a chain link fence and you like shake it real quick. Oh, so where, you were here, Jack, where were you? Like, we were, I was, standing right I was here. right here. It was loud as Like, I'm really uneasy in here now. Can you do it for all of us? 
Now that we're all together? I think whatever's here likes us alone. Like it likes, it doesn't do group. It seems like it does one or two people kind of thing. Yeah. So then maybe we should split up. Maybe. You want to try that? Yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to go down to the basement then. Yeah. Okay. I honestly feel like it's back down here now. See, I'm nervous to go down there now. Like. You in the bar now? to an insanely haunted hotel. This is by far the biggest location that we will go to on this trip. It is 18 floors, over 950,000 square feet. The hotel is known to have a history with the mafia and mobsters. Murders have taken place there. This was also a location where people went to commit suicide. Every single floor of the Statler is considered a suicide floor. In so many areas that I know people have jumped off, I strongly believe that some of those people are, are still around here at the Statler. The spirit just doesn't become happy just because it's ended their own lives. There's still sadness there. So we got into the Statler Hotel. We're gonna split up into twos right away. Let's go through this really quick, because this is just what, what? I keep hearing out there. What'd you hear? It's like things dropping. Could be just because it's old. Is there someone here with us? What was what that scream? Fudge? That was a scream. What was what that fudge? scream? I think we're in a we're weird room. I think this room is going to be one of the places we end up staying. What is this room? I don't know, but let's just check out another floor. Dude, this is so dangerous. Oh my gosh, this is just the most run down out of the whole place. It looks like the oldest floor in the entire hotel. Oh my gosh, you can't even see all the way down. Are you crapping me? I'm taking pictures. I want to show everybody how dark it is down here. IR, off IR. This is such a dark hallway. Whoa. Turn on the envelope right now, see what we can get. So this device will allow you to talk with us. Is there anything you'd like to say? How many people are here with us? Many? Dude, no way. Are you kidding? Okay, that's freaking creepy. That's one of the creepiest things we've gotten all day. Did you hear that noise? Dude. Okay, this room is I don't even know, like, where, where to go, dude. Let's take a lap. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I don't want to be on this floor anymore. Oh, my God. We are on the top of the building right now. This is where the two general managers both died of heart attacks. And people report seeing shadow figures, they hear disembodied voices, doors slamming. So there's a lot that goes on up here on the 18th floor. Oh man, this is creepy. People jumped from this building. Look at that fall. I keep feeling like I'm hearing walking yeah, above us. But it's like following us. And we're not walking like heavy at all. Yeah. Okay, this is weird. Right above us, dude. Someone's following us. What's above us, the attic? If there's someone above us, can you make a loud noise, slam a door? Freaking the basement. So the basement is where a lot of the mafia stuff happened. Are we going up? Oh, what? No? So, where are we? Second. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm like, which means I have it on freaking. I have it on film. That's 
so creepy. Dude, I push the basement. I push the basement. That's actually so creepy. This is a haunted elevator. <laughs> Holy. It's the one floor we like didn't like the most. I know. It tried to bring us back to the second floor. Me and Alex are hearing actual people talking. We just did a whole sweep of the 18th floor, and there's nobody up here. We know there's like an attic room above us. It looks like a maintenance room. Let's do one more sweep. I just want to make sure there's no way up. We didn't, we didn't go down here. Is that a light? Okay, be careful, dude. It goes up. Dude, we got We have to see if there's something up there. Hello? That was on the same floor as us. I think so. I think so. What did we hear? So let's go back to that hallway and ask questions again, because if this is a spirit, maybe it, it's it's willing to communicate. Okay, so this is the hallway we were in. Is there anybody up here? We heard you earlier. If you don't want us up here, you're gonna have to scare us out of here. I just heard a very loud bang. What is going on? Hello? No way. The elevator is moving. Please do not open. Please do not open. No! Hello? 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 No. 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 Alex, can you get the f up here right now? What happened? Dude, the elevator just came from wherever it was and opened on the second floor. Oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dude, hustle, I am freaking out. Okay, I'm coming right now, I'm going the elevator. Whoa. Oh, did it already go off right when yeah. you walked in? Literally, right when we walked in. The moment we crossed the threshold into this building, my Melmeter, which picks up electromagnetic frequencies, it was just launching. Every wavelength that that thing tracks, it's been going off the scale. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Welcome to the Alaskan. How can I help you? Um, I'm Katrina. This is Jack. We're actually here to meet Betty. Okay, I can get her for you if you'd like. Yeah, that's sure. great. Is there any rational reason for why this is happening? I mean, listen. There's the, there's a lot of wireless instruments in here between cell phones, wireless microphones, cameras. But you see now, it just see. You, it just dipped all the way back down. It just jumped up yeah, to 20. Yeah, I saw that. To, to, oh, was it 20 or two? That went, that went to 21. All right, Jack, you're going to be in 315. Thank and you. And Katrina, you are going to be in 219. Cool, Hi, thank you. I'm Betty Adams. Have a really Hi. good Hi. How's it going? Jack Hi, Oswald. The Hi, nice. Katrina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Thanks yeah. for letting us invade. Why don't we stop and put a mic on Betty? Let's keep rolling on it. Oh, talk to okay. Here we are. Okay. You open it, sir. <laughs> wow. I keep all the curtains closed. Mm. Um, I gotta get over there. I'm gonna you you want to go to the exit? There. I want to. Yes, I'd like okay. to stand by the exit, please. Okay. okay. <laughs> weird vibe in this place. It's so, a very yeah. weird vibe in here. I checked this Navy sailor in, and he said, I want the most haunted room. And I thought, oh, great, trouble. Right. I just knew that was trouble. That just and, shot up the And then when he came in, about 11 o'clock at night, there was screaming. And he started screaming, screaming, screaming. And he was saying, help, let me out of here, stop. Then at some point, he had cut himself and he wrote on the wall, help, and then just a bunch of blood, and blood was everywhere. And he was by himself in the room? Yes. I'm not going to open the window, but I am going to okay. show you this. Then what he did was he went through this window. He jumped it? Yeah. He dropped it all the way down through a third floor. Yeah. How long ago did that happen? No, it wasn't that long ago. OK, wow. So yeah. this is why you keep the curtain closed, because yeah. of him? Also, there have been reports of a poltergeist, you know, throwing things around, and aggressive hauntings. Definitely sounds like you're going to have a fun night in here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Would you mind showing me to my room? Yeah, come okay. on. Good luck. Uh, yeah, thanks. After this one, I don't know oh, what to man. expect. I like your room even less. Oh, oh that's, gee. that's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Can I 
I come in? Okay, Alice, I'm here with two of my friends. And I just want to talk to you. I'll tell you, yeah. my heart is racing right now. Your heart's racing? What does that mean for you? Not usually anything. That's not normal for me. Is it weird I feel better when I'm with Katrina? <laughs> Hold me. All right, here we are. Interesting. Just picking up a signal. All right, back in my room where I have been sleeping. Whew, okay. Feeling a little anxious, gotta be honest. So I'm gonna try an audio device that I have here. It takes phonetic sounds, and the thought in the paranormal is that when you get a coherent word or sentence, then it's the actual spirit trying to communicate with you. So if Alice is here, or if somebody other than Alice is here, we might be able to get some answers. Can you tell me who comes to this room? What is your name? <laughs> Alice, just, that was crazy. <laughs> Alice, are the stories true about you? People keep saying your boyfriend shot you. Is that true? <laughs> Why do you stay in this hotel? Right? It's really weird, actually. How did you die? Rest. What did you hear? I heard rape again. You heard rape again? Yeah, are you hearing this? You heard it too, Addison, rape? Yeah. Oh. Could that be the misunderstood part? You know, people said she was working. And her boyfriend moved in and lived in 219. And now, this place was still kind of a working woman's place. And so she decided to take a little on the side. Maybe she wasn't working. Maybe it wasn't her. Maybe it wasn't her choice, you know? Everyone kind of blames her as being a working girl. Maybe she wasn't. I mean, I don't know. It happens quite often. People get attacked and people blame that person. Why do I feel sick all of a sudden? Passing through. Do you hear that? Are you passing through this room or are you passing through me? Is there anyone in the room with us? If so, please make some noise. Knock on a wall, creak a floorboard, move something. fluctuation at all. This room, I mean, there's no draft coming in here. This, the radiator's not on. If there's any presence with us, please make yourself known. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like a floorboard. Is someone here with us up here? Ooh, I just got cold shiver. Still getting it bad. Is something here with us right now? You just creaked a door or a floorboard. Can you do it again? Are you here because someone did a ceremony here? What the f was that? 
Yeah, like breathing or like a growl. Yeah, that sounded like a growl. Adam and I are at the Cash Town Inn. We're in a room where guests frequently report unsettling activity that keeps them awake and where Jack, the owner, was pushed. And something just let us know it's here. Mr. Hill? Wait. Did you use your footsteps? Right there. Nobody move. I just heard it again. I heard it again. Is Hold that on. you? Nope. That's in here. That's me. That's me. I'm gonna go stand here. Don't move. You hear it, right? Yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It sounded like it was coming from that direction, the bathroom almost. It's definitely the same kind of thing he was talking about, where think people were like tapping, mm -hmm. you know? The multiple reports are knocking, mm -hmm. banging, all night long. Is there someone in this room with us who's non-living? I know that the Cash Town Inn is a very historic place. That was a knock outside. I heard that. Holly. Was that us? It's pretty loud. Yeah. Can you come into this room? Join us. I mean, we, we're going to be here for a few nights. So please get to know us. Were you here during the Battle of Gettysburg? Can you tell us your name? Can you just let us know you're here in some way? We heard a tapping earlier. Can you tap again? Let me play this back. Oh, my gosh. Were you here during the Battle of Gettysburg? I mean, something is tapping. Whoa, Whoa that's a that's really tapping. clear EVP. Tapping. Tapping. Here. Yo, that's so. Really no, that's clear. that's confirmation that they were communicating to us with those taps. Yeah, has to be. I mean, that was that's extremely clear. So we heard the taps. And he, Jack said people hear that a lot. All the time. I don't, I mean, it could be naturally occurring, but we got an EVP that says tapping. I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I don't hear it anymore. It's like everything just stopped. We're gonna have to set up some experiments. Think outside the box yeah, here. Let's go down. As investigators, we want to figure out why things are happening. I mean, we come to the Cash Town Inn to look for ghosts and spirits, and obviously we're going to find them. The craziest thing that happened was getting that EVP that said tapping. That is the clearest EVP that we've gotten in a really long time. But who is here and why? That's what we have to figure out. There is something that we have not uncovered. There's something that we have yet to find that is connected either to this property or to this area that we need to look into. So tonight we're going to set up in the bar where the crash victims hung out and where Kanan worked just to see if we can get any answers. So I'm gonna place the SLS camera here on this ledge and try to get as much bar as I possibly can. Um, because if we're going to reach out to the spirit of someone who worked here, I wanna make sure that I can get the bar and see if anything shows up. And plus, I'm gonna put the trigger object proximity sensor. I'm gonna attach it to, what do you think? The, can I try to share? Yeah, do that. Yeah. So Kanan Crawford, 23, died Friday, June 30th, 2000, in an automobile accident on Route 30. And Route 30 is this street right here, right? Yeah. Kanan, we uh, are wondering if we could get something to drink. The thing about Kanan was he was a fairly new employee, but he was very excited about his job here. So he'd only worked here for a couple months. Um, mm. Kanan, we're just trying to figure out if you are one of these non-living spirits that are here in this house. It's hard to see you, but I'm sure you know that people come and investigate this space, and they have for a really, really long time. Can you let us know that you are here? You can touch your cash register there. 
and that device will light up. Do people sometimes confuse you with a Civil War ghost or spirit? We also know there's decades of history here besides a Civil War. So if you're here, regardless of whatever time period you visited or, or worked here, can you just let us know you're here in some way? Are you here all the time or do you just pass through? There was also a horrible car accident involving two young women who left here one night and didn't make it home alive. Do you know who those two were? If there's somebody in here that knows who Kanan was, can you please tell me what your name is? Do you know Kanan in spirit form or when he was here alive working? What is your name? What is your name? Do you come here because you're looking for some closure? You're looking for help? go back here. Okay. Something's running around here. It's moving quickly. It doesn't want to be seen. It gets seen, but it doesn't want to be seen. Is this a human energy or? Yeah. And it feels very stuck. I guess this would be definitely also somewhere I would check. Now, the energy I get is a masculine energy that likes to control everything. Picking up on anything intelligent? The man? Yeah. Intelligent? Yeah, like this is something that would communicate. Oh, yeah. OK. Gonna to the basement, and we're gonna get possessed by a demon. Um, I might as well set up the room pod, okay. too. My name's Jack. I'm Heather. We don't mean to harm. We just want to document. We just want to prove to everyone else that you're real. We believe you're here. Can you come and touch this green light? OK. Is something in the basement with us right now? Can you make that device? Light up again, you just did it. A lot of the people that work here say they see you running up and down this hallway in white. Can you show yourself to us? You like to mess with them, so mess with us. What? Whoa. What's going on with those curtains? to be the win. That's aggressive, though. Is there a door open? There's no, like, air source right here that would. That was weird. Are you watching us? They're not moving so at all. That's so weird. Now. Is there someone or something in the kitchen with us? Make those curtains flap again. When I walked through there, I didn't feel any kind of like air source hitting me. I think, here's an idea. 
I think we should go back to HQ. Mm -hmm. One of us sit at the monitor, and each of us take a turn going up now by ourselves. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Is my REM pod going off? Whoa, why did that Oh, just... it's, it's really going off. Look, it's going... Holy What? The laser grid's moving. <gasps> what the? You want to go check out your room and I'll check the laser grid? Yeah. Let's go. Weird. Yeah, there's no reason the REM pod should be going off like that. There's no one on floor seven. There's no one on floor eight. No. There's something in my room? What are you doing in here? That was strange. The REM pod was going off and just stopped the moment I stepped in the room. I'm gonna try leaving it to see if it will happen again. Oh, I think it just came. I mean, that still wouldn't explain how it righted itself. The laser grid's moving. <gasps> what the? It's really weird because it spins and then it goes back to its original position. Something's up here and wants to let itself be known. Bang on a wall, jiggle a door. Do something. Hey, Heather, I'm heading down now. Copy that. What was that? Hey, did you just hear that from yeah. Seven? Yeah. Heather, can you find out if anyone is on the seventh floor? There shouldn't be anybody up there. All of us just came back down to HQ. That was loud, dude. That was like... There it is again. Located just 40 minutes away from Villisca, near the border of Iowa and Nebraska, lies the remains of the formerly extravagant Malvern Manor. Originally known as the Cottage Hotel, the two-floor, 28-room facility was the place to stay for travelers coming in and out of town by train. 187 people passed away within the halls of the building. Even though no one has lived there for over 15 years, paranormal activity has started ramping up recently. The most active areas include the Shadow Man Hallway. Found on the first floor, this area is aptly named for the tall, dark shadows that charge towards it. Entity number one. Seen throughout the facility, number one is a very aggressive spirit with an alpha personality. Alex and I have just walked into Malvern Manor. Of all places to start looking, we venture into the shadow hallway. Oh my gosh, dude. I have a really bad feeling about this hallway. I don't think we should be down here. All right. Is there anybody here with us? Tanner has a device in his hand that will allow you to talk to us. Were you mistreated here as a patient? I mean, this being the nursing home, this would be where most of the people died. Like this is the nursing home, yet people are seeing dark entities darting through the hallways. The entity known as number one is said to be all over this building. It has no restrictions, it's everywhere. Are you good, or are you evil? We're not 
not really getting anything on the obvious. Should we just keep moving? I just don't feel like we're alone, and I don't think we've been alone this whole entire time. <sighs> Let's check down this way. It's like harder to breathe on this floor. <sighs> Gosh, look at this room. Oh my god. Is there anyone here with us? Can you make a noise? Let your presence be known? I just don't like this at all, dude. Let's keep moving. The lights on. The light is on, dude. What? The light that we're what? just in. That is on. Dude, how is that on? It's literally the room we're just in. Hello? Is there someone down there? Holy dude, what? I'm shutting it off. What the hell, dude? Where is it? It doesn't even like. How is it on then? No. Holy You have to pull that? Are you kidding me right now? What? Something pulled that string, Alex. Benefit of the doubt, this place is known to have weird electrical problems. Like, I don't know if that's paranormal, but that's so freaking weird to me that we're asking questions in here. You're sitting right underneath this light. We walk out and then all of a sudden it's on. I don't understand that. Dude. Is there someone here? Did someone turn this light on? Let's just set the camera back up. I have the REM pod. We'll put it in here and we'll just leave this area for a while and and just put surveillance on this room. So right here is the REM pod. It picks up electromagnetic frequencies. If anything gets close to that, it's gonna go off. Alright, let's leave that camera for the rest of the night and let's just keep on exploring. Dude, this place is messing with us now. We have been feeling like we've been watched the entire time. This is not good, man. Number one has just been hiding around corners, watching our every move. We still have to keep exploring this place. We still have a little bit to cover. I honestly have this horrible feeling like something is standing at the bottom of the stairs. Just waiting for us. We have been at the Malvern Manor for a little over two hours now. It was creepy. Fire extinguisher, sorry. I was trying to get a cool shot of you. Oh my gosh. So far, nothing. We've asked questions to entity number one. If number one is here, can you make a noise? Can you move something? I have felt like we've been constantly followed, just like Tana and Alex felt. Oh my gosh, I got a really bad feeling on this side of the hallway. I think the creepiest part about Malvern is the design of it. So many turns, tight hallways, creepy rooms, the whole thing is designed in a very unique way that totally terrifies me. So right now, me and Chelsea are on the first floor. We just set up three REM pods down the shadow hallway. They're separated by about 10 feet each. If anything goes close to any one of those REM pods, we will know because it will beep. Is there somebody here with us? Can you go stand next to one of those red lights on the ground? Can you go touch one of those red lights? Can you come out of whatever room that you're in and touch one of those red lights on the ground? It just feels like something. 
one's definitely down that hall. We know that when people come here, they see shadows darting in and out of this hallway. Can you run out into this hallway? Number one, are you here? Oh my god! It's going off, it's going off! Oh my god! Holy crap, the middle REM pod just went off. Oh my gosh. Right after I asked about number one, not even 10 seconds later, boom. Oh, I got the goosebumps. Yeah, I'm seriously so freaked out. Number one, if that really is you, can you do that one more time? Can you touch that red light on the ground again? Oh my God, what's going on? And we're here to investigate the Carey House, which is the first hotel established in the town. So allegedly the spirits that haunt this hotel uh, get a bit physical. They like to touch and really freak out the employees. We're here to try and figure out what the hell is going on. Hi, are Hi, you Josh? I'm Josh, I'm hey, the general nice manager. Nice to meet you. We're glad you guys are here. Yeah, well thanks for having us, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have heard you've had some experiences. Yes, yeah. so in about the whole five years that I've been here, I've had a couple of experiences. I'm not really a believer in this sort of thing. <laughs> so I kind of play it off in my mind as not really happening or not what I think it was. Yeah. But with how many people I've had quit from the hotel and just all the stories that guests tell me every morning, it's led me to think something's going on here. So how many employees have you lost in the last year? 11 from paranormal activity. Mm -hmm. They all cited because yes. this place is haunted. Yes, so it's hard to like keep a staff. What's the most recent complaint you've had? So actually just yesterday, the guests came down and told us that they were pulled out of their bed last night. Wow. That's actually been a common occurrence here. People freak out and decide not to stay here. When people get pulled out of bed, is it always the same room? Usually it's gonna be on the second floor. That's where most of the haunted activities actually taking place. You want to ask some questions yeah, in here? Yeah, let's fire it out. I got some items from downstairs. Yes. Essentially old room key numbers. We put trigger objects in the tray that are metallic. If some entity or something with its own EMF frequency engages with those metallic objects, which we're using as trigger objects, it goes off like a REM pod. Um, I'm Katrina. And I'm Jack and we're here uh, to merely document. We're not trying to get rid of you. We're not trying to uh, embellish. Is Richard Crohn's here, also known as Irish Dick? I thought I had someone in the hall. I thought I had movement in the hall. Step trackers going off right now. Really? It is. Like a lot? It's flashing. There's movement coming from somewhere. Coming down. My name's Jack. I want to know who's down here with me. How do I join the Odd Fellows? Can I join? Is Stan down here? Ooh, I should have called Shiva. Yeah, like a crazy cold Shiva. Ooh. Was that? Hello? Oh, that just freaked me out. Katrina, were you trying to come down the stairs? What's that? You... Let's go. Cool. 